Virgo, welcome to your sexual tarot reading. I had to think about it. I was like, which one are we doing again? Yes, sexual tarot for November. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Top two questions I get, why do you do sexual tarot and will I see more? The second question answers the first. You'll see for yourself. But yeah, sexual tarot, part of life like anything else. And you can get a read off of it. You can get a read just about anything. If it's got a pulse, honey, and even then, energy is negotiable. Let me tell you. Spirit, show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. They're not actually not too dissimilar from the general love readings, okay? Um, I can see relationships as easily as I can see anything else. But yeah, one of the biggest questions I get, will this lead to something more? It's like the number one question I get. Top five, for sure. Will this lead to something more? That's why we're here. If you live in life, you got blank spots, honey. Mm -hmm. I see relationship stuff. I see new stuff. I see stuff that's ending. I see stuff that's beginning. Oh, yeah. Like I said, they're not too dissimilar from the general love readings, all right? Take what resonates. Leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. You will only make yourself miserable, all right? Somebody need to see, please, for that Virgo sexuality. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, what's going on, please, for Virgo? Hmm. I like things to be just so. Thumbs up for just so. I know you get it. Show me the current position, please, for Virgo. What's currently going on for Virgo, please? What's currently going on for Virgo, please? What's currently going on for Virgo, please? What's going on? Okay. King of Wands, perhaps some of you are connecting with an Aries Leo Sag. It could be that some of you are currently in this partnership and you just, it feels loving and nurturing and warm and secure. Absolutely. You're loving it. You're loving it. Sex irrelevant in tarot. Doesn't matter if it's king or queen. Doesn't really matter. It's the embodiment of that particular energy. Connecting with somebody who is just loving and passionate and secure and I care about you. Okay. Feeling warm and nurtured. That's lovely. It's a great way to kick it off. Some of you might currently be in relationships or you're hoping to be. And you're hoping to get that energy. Yes. Some of the mutual, please. Some of the mutual. Oh, God. You When you connect, you feel the stars. That's beautiful. Aquarius as well. Mutual. You're each other's hopes and wish, and when you connect, it's quite lovely. Oh, it's easy. It's beautiful. Oh. Look at that. And very generous. Mutual. Very generous, loving relationship. Very generous. Very generous. I don't know how long you two have been together, but it just seems to fit right. Right? Everything just seems to fit correctly. It's warm. It's loving. Um, oh, generous. Very generous. This person feels like your hope and your wish. Um, when you physically connect, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, both of you are generous. Again, this is the mutual. Okay. Wow. Show me those Virgos sexual strengths, please. Show me Virgos sexual strengths. Let me know if you are connecting with an Aquarius or an Aries Leo Sag, yeah? Uh, Virgo sexual strengths, please. Show me Virgo sexual strengths. Okay. God, heavy, heavy, heavy Leo energy strength. Strengths. You are willing to bring strength to this relationship. That could be strength under any context, be it physical, emotional, mental, whatever, sexual. It's all good. You bring it. <laughs> it's warm. You can tackle big issues when you're with this person. It feels like uh, you can accomplish a great deal when you're in the world. They make you feel strong. Or even outside the context of relationship, this is quite simply what you have to offer regardless of you being in one or not. Your personal strength as a person. That's what you bring. Lovely. Weaknesses, issues, obstacles, weaknesses, issues. Okay. There might be an investment issue. Seven of Pentacles. Um, you know, you're slower energy. You do have slower energy. Okay. So it might take you time to develop, you know, feelings. <laughs> this is known to you. This is not known to you. You take your time developing the pentacle with this person. And this person, if they are a fire sign, they might move at a faster pace than you. Okay. Um, but that's not too... This is... This is... This is not mind-blowing. <laughs> For Virgo, taking your time to develop uh, things, this this is this is not a surprise to uh, anyone. <laughs> now, hopefully, it's not financial, but I can't say that sometimes those lines don't blur, particularly for the Earth signs. You popping up coin, and it has to do with money. That's that's legit. That does happen. Um, but under the weakness category, you take your time to develop and sometimes too long to develop. Uh, I don't even know if it's the physical part so much as the emotional part. You know, eh, you're probably used to it. This is, uh, this is not news to you. This is not news to you. Especially if your partner is a fire sign. 
you know, and Virgo's kind of like, you know, how I feel about that? <sighs> Check back with me in a month. Check back with me in a month. I, I, I'll, I'll know more about my feeling then. <clears throat> <laughs> That's so you. Show me the potential outcome, please. Show me that potential outcome, please. It's clearly a relationship. It's clearly a relationship, and it feels natural, and it feels lovely. Um, there's a protective quality to it, you as well as them. Uh, let's see. Show me the outcome, please. Okay. Yes, you will give it your all. There may be change. Oh, change. Change to the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know. I don't know. Don't get upset. We shall see what we shall see. Change to the offer, Ace of Pentacles. I don't know why, and I don't know what that means. It could be that the offer is extended by yourself or the other person, and it prompts change to the relationship to take it to the next level. Okay? Or it could be changed to the pre-existing offer. So if some of you are in pre-existing relationships, please know it's looking like change will occur, and it's it's rather sizable. It could be positive. It may not be. We shall see. Um, I don't know. But as strong as this energy is, I can't imagine... I can't imagine. I just, I can't imagine. I don't know. Let's, let's see what we can see, yeah? Show me the best possible clarification. Show me the best possible clarification for Virgo, please. Show me the best possible clarification for Virgo, please. Show me the best possible clarification for Virgo. I can't imagine. Hopefully you're entering a new phase of the ultimate commitment, the Ace of Pentacles, yeah? I don't know. Change could represent many things. Okay, show me that King of Wands, please. Okay, you have passion for this person, simply put. Ace of Wands, yeah, you have passion for this person. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. It's fierce, too. God, strong Leo energy here. Very strong Leo energy here. Touch of Aquarius. Uh, let's see, you featured heavily, by the way, in Gemini's reading. You kept coming up over and over again in Gemini's reading, just in case you're connecting with a Gemini. Uh, let's see. What else, please? What else about that king? It's loving. It's passionate. It's fiery. It, it feels it feels rather intense. Rather new. Moving it forward. So it's looking like some of you have dated with this person for a while, and it's fire and it's passion, and you've decided to move it forward. I'm telling you, this, per this, this person makes you feel nurtured. Warm, connected uh, to your fiery kind of place that you sometimes have a hard time tapping. I think they help you really experience that, and you're going to decide to move it forward, the both of you do, the Six of Swords, you want to move it further, you want to take it next. This person feels like a very good fit, that Three of Cups over the star. You have hope for this person, they feel like a natural fit. The Three of Cups in this deck, a natural fit. Show me the star, please. Show me the star, please. Show me the star, please. Seven of Cups. Why? Confusion. You have confused. Why? Why are you confused? Why are you confused about this? You don't know if you're ready for it emotionally. You're both this way. You have Ace of Pentacles. You have the ultimate commitment in the back of your mind. <laughs> Always. Um, and the connection feels good. It feels like a fit. But there seems to be confusion about this. Eight of Cups, there's some confusion for the both of you. Why are you both confused? This is mutual. You both want the Ace of Pentacles. This is a non-issue. You both are on the same page about the long-term commitment. Again, no confusion there. But there's some Eight of Cups issues regarding something that closed options or the options over. Or is this person done seeing somebody? Or are you done seeing somebody? And this is mutual. So it tells me that you both relatively had recent breaks, okay, from another energy, another entity. And you want to know if you're ready? And so do they. It's mutual. There's some confusion here. That Seven of Cups, sometimes it's options, but and that could still be the case. Some of you might still be exploring your dating options, particularly since that Three of Cups is there. But given the star here, exploring multiple energies for your hope and wish, okay, that typically doesn't work out very well. Um, usually if somebody's dating, like, multitudes of people, you're not going to find your hope and wish when you're dating five, six, seven people. Um, I don't think that's it. I think there's some confusion here about endings, where they are, okay, and their emotional availability, the Eight of Cups. Have they completely walked away from their old stuff, and have you? It's a mutual concern. So that tells me then, you have exited somebody else's temple commitment already, and so have they. So you have both exited Ace of Pentacles, okay? And the question here, because again, this is mutual. You guys come together, it feels great, it feels natural. This person has some very strong healing properties, by the way. They make you feel a very strong sense of passion. 
a sense of renewal for life. Fire, fire, fire. That sense of getting back out there and to feel life again. They provoke that in you, and that's lovely, and that's wonderful. Uh, but you are both wondering if prior chapters, worlds have closed. Have you both completely walked away from old temples, old offers, in other words, Ace of Pentacles? You both have, and you both question about whether or not you're ready. Um, because it feels so good, you don't want to continue on if that person's not completely available, and so they feel the same way about you. Perhaps you are contemplating whether or not you are ready, and they are as well. So either you both came from serious endings, and you both question about whether or not you're ready, or one of you did, and you both have the same question regarding that. Okay, so it's looking like you walked away from something rather sizable. Could have been with Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, like yourself. Um, but it was a substantial offer. Or it could be that you walked away from an Aquarius, so they have that placement in their chart. I don't know, let's keep going. Strength, you have strength. There's a fierceness in you that you are willing to bring to any given relationship. To climb what mountains you need to climb. To excavate what it is you need to excavate. In other words, you're willing to do what it is you're willing to do to secure a relationship. Oh, dear. Mm. Okay, there it is. Come on! Oh, my God! Seriously! Ugh! <laughs> Knave of Wands. And you are willing to communicate that? Great. Anything else? That's not too impressive after all that work. You want a life with this... Per oh. Your strength star is that you're willing to do what it is you need to do to secure life, be it with this energy or anyone, regardless, okay? You, this is your strength regardless of the person you're seeing. Your strength star is that you're willing to do what it is you need to do to have a fruitful relationship. I do think some of you... Some of you have... Mm, there's a family thing here. You carry family with you. That's part of your strengths, and they need to know that. It's very different this time. I'm hearing something very different. Some of you are coming with many family attachments. And if this person isn't cool with that, it's not going to work out. I don't know that you have kids. You might have kids. I don't know that you have kids, but for some reason there's an expectation here that you are expected to hold or carry family. Like family is way up here on your priority list. And if this person can't deal with that, like if they can't go to constant family functions and remember birth dates and shit, like you're not into it. <laughs> that is coming across so strong. Like your partner needs to be on board with the fact that you will be in constant communication with family, that you have many family obligations. And if they can't be on board with that, it's not cool with you. Because as far as you're concerned, this is a non-issue. I don't know that you have kids. I don't know. I'm not getting the kid vibe. I'm not. I get, like, I'm looking at a Virgo who's like, your family responsibility is through the roof. Your partner needs to be on board with that, otherwise you won't be. So, basically, taking you on is like taking on your whole family. Because as far as you're concerned, it's one and the same. That's who I'm speaking to. That's very strong. That came across very strong. And you're going to communicate that expectation. My family means a lot to me, and I pretty much take them with me wherever I go. I'm always there. I'm never not there. Whew. Okay. Cool. Weaknesses. Seven of Pentacles, yeah? It takes a long time for you to develop those feelings. It takes a long time, and that's your truth, the Ace of Swords, and you already know it, but you still know what you want, too. There's the stars again. There it is. So, again, I'm looking at a Virgo who does not apologize for who they are and what they're about. Uh, you, I think you're coming across very strongly. <laughs> that might be a weakness. It's like, I know I'm slow to develop that coin. I'm not going to jump into a commitment right away. That's why I'm being extra cautious. I want to make sure you're done with your stuff. I want to make sure I'm done with my stuff. I got a lot of responsibilities. My family rely on me heavily. Okay. Uh, they're important to me, and I'm slow to develop feelings. It's like, I, I also know the truth of my hopes and wishes, and it, this coming across very, very strong, Virgo. This is coming across very, very strong. I know you're into boundaries, honey. I know it, but th just please be aware that I'm very happy that you have a strong sense of this is who I am and this is what I'm about. So just please know, okay? Um, you could get in your own way, all right? I, I hope you have some flexibility in here. <laughs> I just hope you can see. I just hope you have some flexibility in here. I'm very pleased that you know what you want. You know who you are and you know what you're about. But you have very strong expectations. And this person is... They're life-driven. The way you're family-driven. Okay? So I hope that you understand how to meet their needs as well. Okay? Um, 
I'm just putting it out there because I'm seeing an exquisitely strong Virgo to the point that it's it's showing up in your weakness. Just have some flexibility around what it is you think the truth is and what you think constitutes the truth and what you think this is my hopes and wishes. I'm I know that you are you are hell bent on fulfilling your own personal wishes and you want this future energy to be able to do the same. Just, you know, I hope you understand it works both ways because this is really strong obstacle energy, okay? Just letting you know. Okay, the wheel. Show me the wheel, please. Show me the wheel, please. Why is the wheel here? So, mm, I do jumpers. I don't like passive cards. Show me the wheel. Okay, well now. I had some thoughts about that. We're manifesting change. Okay, it's looking like you picked this person out. I feel like you went to the store and you picked this person out because now you're manifesting them intensely. Okay, so, okay, you're manifesting change. Somebody's manifesting change. Okay, two of cups. You want the commitment now. You want to make it official. You want the real deal with this person. Let's see if you get it. Let's see if the offer is extended. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. Justice. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to get married to this person, as far as I can tell. I mean, I just might title your video that. You're going to get married to this person, whoever it is. They're pulling up heavy fire energy, particularly Leo. Uh, there's also a, a fair amount of Aquarius in this as well. But yeah, it's going to be signed off on. Justice is over the Ace of Pentacles. That offer will be legitimized. Um, it's time for that change. I think this person was able to meet your standards and expectations, uh, because you, you do. Okay? I just, again... I I feel like I'm looking at a dominant Virgo. A very dominant. Sex relevant tarot doesn't matter if you're male or female. Trust me, I know plenty of female Virgos who are extremely dominant. You would never know it. You would never know it because they're so quiet and unassuming. But inside it's like, I have to have it this way or my world falls apart and I will take you with me. <laughs> that's a dominant female Virgo. I feel like that's who I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. It's like, but on the inside, you are just like, I have to have it this way. And if I don't, things happen. Bad things happen. That's who you are. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you're going to have a very strong commitment in the future. It looks like you and your partner, here's the world at the bottom of the deck again, went through endings already. And just, I'm seeing a very responsible energy to move this forward. But first, I want to make sure we're all on the same page, that you are completely done with your stuff. I'm completely done with my stuff. So I do think that I'm looking at a Virgo who experienced divorce, and to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not surprised. I've been seeing that for you for a long time. The same way it's slow, it takes a long time for you to develop those feelings. It also takes you a very long time, just as long a time, to exit something. It can take you years to exit relationships. It really can. And I'm not going to lie, there was a period where I was just like, I, was, I felt like I was doing the same Virgo video for weeks. You were struggling to leave someone. Struggling to leave someone. There are days you felt good about them, and there are days you didn't feel good about them. And that was one of the things that was kept holding you back, right? Anyway, in this one, I'm, I'm looking at a story of uh, Virgo who... Mm -hmm, you're juggling thoughts of new love, and you want it. But, uh, yeah. You want that new love, you feel the call of it, you're juggling the thoughts of it, it's on your mind. Show me what else, please, about this person, this incoming energy for Virgo. Show me this incoming energy, please, for Virgo. I'm looking at a Virgo who's clearly exited an old relationship. It's it's done. It's done. It's, it looks clean to me. Um, yeah, you you did what you did. Speaking of which, and so did they. The Empress, Libra, Taurus. Some of you might have left a Libra or a Taurus. There was too much fighting. As I said that, I asked for this person's characteristics. I did not get that. I got that there was a reason I was talking about your ending. There was a reason I was talking about the ending. There, this 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 Empress was not fruitful. Some of you exited serious commitments in the past, and it was not fruitful, simply put. Okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Go High Priestess, you know. Mm -hmm. Anything else, please? Anything else, please? Anything else, please? That's terribly strong. That is so weird. I was talking about the endings, and then boom, Five of the Wands with the Empress. You could not have a life with this person. It was too much fighting. Okay. Anyway, that was pretty damn prominent. There was divorce. Yeah, there was divorce. Okay. One or both of you. Anyway, anything else, please? Some of you needed to hear that. This is the Seven of Swords. 
too much quietness, too much too much distance between you and this old partner. Why is that coming across so strong? This is why it took some of you some of you took so long to address new love is because this was so difficult to exit. It keeps showing me the exit. Spirit keeps showing me the exit. Some of you needed that acknowledged. Um, this whatever it is that you walked away from. I'm starting to think now that this person that you meet in the future, who could be a Leo, could be an Aquarius, they want to make sure that you are done and done with it because this looking like you came from, personally, Virgo, it looks like you came from a very serious exit. I keep seeing it over and over again. This is your new commitment. It's your new Two of Cups. You're manifesting it. This is why I'm guessing why your weakness category is so strong. You don't want this mistake repeated. That's probably why you're setting down such strong expectations and a strong personal truth and why you're taking things so slowly. Um, you want the Ace of Pentacles to last this time. There might have been financial issues with this partner as well. Um, predominantly Libra Taurus here, but at your future is looking Leo Aquarius. Okay, these are not absolute. These are simply markers. That's, that's pretty damn strong, honey. Okay. Um, damn, too much distance between you two. Seven of Swords, I, I, wow, it wasn't fruitful, it was not fruitful, I hope coin wasn't involved, but coin might have been involved, of course, um, but what, from what I can tell, it was just fighting, and too much emotional distance, like, this person didn't make their thoughts available, the Seven of Swords, you know, they didn't make their thoughts available, and it's like you were always having to guess what was on their mind, and they didn't, You've just felt too much distance, too much mental distance between you two, too much emotional distance. Okay, I'm just seeing more reflection of an ending. Chaser, there's codependency. This person, you experienced too much codependency in the past. They were too reliant upon your particular strength to move the relationship forward. Um, you had a lot of talks with your friends. Ch runner, who's a runner? Somebody was a runner. The golden mirror, they they was, they was felt self-absorbed to you. So I'm seeing your exit really... This is... Okay. So that explains it then, doesn't it? I didn't mean it to turn into all this. But there's a reason why I'm shown what I'm shown. You're exiting something very painful. And at first, your weakness category was way too strong. Way too strong. I just thought this is a Virgo who's just going to self-sabotage. There is nothing that will ever be right for this Virgo, even when it's right there in front of them. Because you have something very lovely and powerful, you know, and that outcome is phenomenal. And they're the real deal, from what I can tell. But you're exiting something very strong, and that's why your boundaries are so high, to the point that it feels like a weakness. You're exiting something where you clearly pulled the emotional or mental weight. I don't know if it was financial, but the mental and emotional weight of this relationship, you had to carry the burden of it, okay? Um, like, you could not connect with that old partner. That's why it's coming across so strong, and that's why your mutual energy is so concerning. Am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? Because you clearly exited somebody else's temple. In other words, a commitment. Damn. That explains a lot now, doesn't it, Virgo? All that energy I've been seeing for you for weeks about leaving someone, leaving someone. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a Virgo who had left somebody. Not only had you left somebody, you met somebody new. And they're the real deal. Um, damn. It's so strong. Wow. It's a very strong Virgo. Okay. Comment as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. Next week are the general love readings. Um, there will be a Halloween special, by the way. I hope this message finds you well. Take care and be well.